Fellow Cameroonians, my dear compatriots, in my last Republican call on April 3rd, through a citizen initiative named Sylvie Cameroon Survival Initiative, SCSI, I invited you, Cameroonian citizens, and all goodwill beyond political, ideological, religious, and other convictions to work together to help our people left to their own fate in the face of COVID-19. This pandemic, which is experiencing meteoric progression in our country with catastrophic prospects in weeks ahead. You have heard this call and have responded to it in a massive and exceptional way. In so doing, you have written a special page in the history of our country. I warmly congratulate you on this and thank you from the bottom of my heart. This Tuesday, 7th April 2020, by a press release, the Minister of Territorial Administration intends to stop this popular and non-partisan initiative. This reaction is no doubt prompted by the exceptional outpouring of solidarity shown by Cameroonians from the interior and the diaspora, from all sides and all walks of life, as well as by friends of our country in response to this call. The illegal and illegitimate regime of Mr. Bia has just crossed the red line. He will take full responsibility for this heinous and barbaric act before history. He, the members of his government, and all the others who are directly or indirectly linked to this action, which tends to deprive our people of emergency humanitarian assistance when they are in danger of perishing, take personal responsibility for the next COVID-19 contaminations and death in our country. In a sub-regional, regional and global environment where all democratically elected or de facto leaders are at the forefront of the health war against COVID-19, the SCSI initiative falls under the legal and moral requirement of assistance to populations in danger. Following the observation that Cameroonians are orphans and in danger of death, abandoned as they are by a deserting and untraceable President of the Republic when they most need his effective presence. It is in the face of this scandalous resignation of the de facto president of the Republic and of the state that he is supposed to be leading that I invited us to take charge, to mobilize, to start the battle against the coronavirus in our country. Clearly, the SCSI initiative, whose action lever is Siovi Cameroon Survival Fund, is a citizen and popular initiative in a situation of need. If you wanted to make legalism, there would be so much to say about the form of the Minister of Territorial Administration's press release, but with regard, on the one hand, to the theory of administrative acts, on the other hand, to international commitments of Cameroon regarding the obligation for the state to protect the health of its populations, stipulated in particular in the African Charter on Human and People's Rights. Let those who have not understood it understand it from now on. COV Cameroon Survival Initiative is a self-organization of the sovereign Cameroonian people in danger of death to ensure their survival. 
it does not fall into any of the categories of associations provided for by the legislation in force and cannot therefore violate this legislation. It is legitimate by nature and does not prevent public authorities from acting if they wish. But people have the right to work for their survival. No law prevents them. Moreover, the sovereign people being the source of the law cannot be arrested by the law. Even less when it acts for its own survival and that of the nation as a territorial and human collectivity. We all know the well-established maxim in law. Necessity makes law. Need I point out that in the past, we have publicly contributed to the raising of funds for charitable and humanitarian associations, such as the Aya Foundation. That we have even organized blood donation operations for soldiers engaged in the war against Boko Haram without the government opposing any legal provision against us. In the light of the changing treatment on the part of the government, in the face of our desire to help the Cameroonian people in distress, everyone can therefore see that the preservation of the life of Cameroonians is far from being a priority of Mr. Pia regime. Here is an evidence. One billion CFA francs is the paltry sum that those who drank wine and champagne in the vicinity of 1 billion 500 million CFA francs during the 19, 2019 end of year celebrations at the A2D Palace threw on more than 25 million Cameroonians into the grips of the death caused by COVID-19. They are the same who claim to have spent some 2,000 billion on the 2019 African Football Cup of Nations aborted organization. My dear compatriots, I have always told you that I will not betray you. Believe me, we are not going to let our collective effort be wiped out by selfish people who want to deliver you to death. Cameroon does not belong to a few individuals, certainly not to those who have been taking you hostage for so many years. Stay mobilized. As a good response to them, participate even more massively in the collection of ongoing donations. The great historic initiative of the Cameroonian people continues. And despite the repeated criminal attacks on the website dedicated to this initiative, it is secure. Those who fraudulently duplicate the domain name to try to derail the operation are trapped. You will be informed of their real or an impersonated identity. Mind fake websites. Our website link remains the same. www.cameroonsurvival.org Cameroon in English with two O. The teams are being set up to prepare the necessary logistics intended in particular to protect you with masks, cleaning your hands with hydroalcoholic solutions and to respect the vital containment measures where it is essential. We opted to start with a massive local production of masks and hydroalcoholic solutions. Faced with the absurd attitude of the regime, the cowardly abandoned people must be ready if necessary 
to create a popular power balance with the dictatorship. That is suffocating them to save themselves from the coronavirus by solidarity, the driving force of which everyone has seen. Mr. Paul Bia will be solely responsible for what will happen to any slippage during the peaceful distribution of assistance to the population. The SCSI organization chart and the letters addressed to the administrations, in particular to the Ministry of Public Health, Finance, Territorial Administration, to the Secretary of State for Defense in charge of the Gendarmerie, to the General Delegation for National Security, but also to the National Order of Doctors, attests to the peaceful rep Republican and humanitarian emergency nature of our undertaking. Better still, in addition to the integration of these different administrations into the management committee, we have freely conceded co-signing powers in the bank account of Suvi Cameroon Survival Fund. Despite all these openings, and in order not to lose face, the authorities decided to sacrifice the people at the altar of their pride. Mr. Bia may reappear at any time to play the expected messiah. This will not change anything in our assessment of the situation. He has shown by his unexplained disappearance for more than a month that he is no longer up to the heavy task he has set himself and that in any case he is a deserter commander-in-chief. Therefore, I now call on the international community to mobilize to help save the Cameroonian people left to their own fate in this war against COVID-19. In appreciating the determination of commitment and of friendly countries to save the lives of their citizens in the face of this pandemic, the onus is on me to remind them that the time has come to choose clearly between the dictatorship of the Mr. Bia regime, which is necessarily temporary, and the Cameroonian people who are absolutely perennial. I invite Cameroonians to remain mobilized to defend their lives. I stay with them for this fight. If the time has come, then it has come. This being said, as this is a critical humanitarian emergency, and in light of my reiterated concern not to let any single Cameroonian lose his life, I'm keeping an outstretched hand. Long live Cameroon.